I literally have, I think, five, five microphones going right now. So I have, I have to do an actual sync clap here. So now for the notes, I actually should, ooh, you know what? Ooh, while we're here, I have this, not my disposal. We'll put this out. I think we are good. I can actually have my notes with me. Oh, uh, I actually, I should take a picture of just how crazy this setup looks. So it is no small twist of irony that audio is one of the most important aspects of video production. If you're anyone that knows anything about making videos, you probably get that. And there are a lot of different microphones you can use. You can use shotgun microphones, which I have one just out of frame here. You can use lavalier microphones, which clip on onto the person. And you can also use on-camera microphones, like the one that is sitting on the camera right now. Or you can use the condenser microphone. And I wanna talk about more of this because my first microphone, actually my first piece of gear ever, really, was the Samson C01, <laughs> the Samson C01U USB microphone. It's sitting back there on its little stand. Um, and it was a great microphone to get started. I was doing a lot of gaming stuff at the beginning. It really fit what I was trying to do. So one of the biggest issues I had with that microphone once I started to get into actual video production is that I couldn't bring it out onto the field because I needed to plug it into a laptop to actually record. And overall, I, I wanted something that I could actually use with a recorder like the one I have off frame here. So I got this guy. And actually when I say I got this guy, I got two of them and they were 110 bucks. <laughs> so let me just say up front that if you wanna get into podcasting or voiceover or any kind of audio production, this kit is going to save you a lot of money and it's gonna give you the essentials. You get the two microphones, you also get shock mounts for them. And on top of that, you not only get two microphones, which is awesome, by the way, you get three capsules for each microphone. That is the little part that's actually sensitive to your sound. The kit comes with the typical super cardioid uh, capsule. You also get a normal cardioid capsule and you get an omnidirectional capsule, which is kind of amazing. So I've got here, an extra little microphone and let's go ahead and change to it. There we go. So you now got me on this microphone. I'm actually going to demonstrate for you the three different capsules. So this is the super cardioid. And obviously if I start to tilt the microphone, you're going to notice my volume drops. Now, if I switch the capsules, let's just take off this puppy right here. So now I'm on the cardioid capsule and this capsule is going to be a little bit more forgiving. So if I start to tilt a little bit, you'll know I don't drop too much. I still, if I go to the side like this, you're still gonna lose me. So finally, this is the omnidirectional capsule. It gives you the opportunity to capture the whole sound environment without having to worry about pointing the mic at anything specifically. Just point it in the general direction and go, it's perfect. Now, all three of those capsules are pretty self-explanatory. They have a little insignia on the side of the capsule that shows you what the capture field is. And that's really awesome. And these microphones sound just fine for 110 bucks. I mean, they're not gonna blow you away because they're relatively cheap, but if you're looking for the essentials, this is gonna give you exactly what you need. I've used them for a lot of different functions. I've lent them out to a few people and they've all had really positive things to say about them. Now, I should note that they require phantom power. So whatever you purchase as a recording device, make sure that it does provide phantom power to your microphones. Otherwise, you're not gonna get much from them. Now, for the price, these microphones are fantastic, but of course, you're gonna need a few other components to round out the kit. So rather than end the video right here with just my impressions, I'm gonna actually tell you what I use with these microphones to record things. I will also have a kit link in the description. They're not affiliate links, so I'm not making a commission. This is purely just a recommendation um, for you to go purchase them if you would like. So first things first, I invested in a set of shock mounts with mounting points for a pop filter. The pop filter is really important for clear voiceover. And, you know, of course, any pop filter can be sort of overblown if you're, you know, really trying to, uh, to overload it. But in general, they do their job pretty well. 
and uh, I enjoy having them there. They're just sort of a peace of mind thing for when I'm recording audio. So I used a pocket knife to cut out uh, parts of the foam in my case to fit it. The jank is kind of strong with this one, but uh, it works pretty well. So I'm okay with it being a little weird. <laughs> I should also note I purchased a stereo mounting bar that I can use. So next you just throw in a basic pair of like 10 foot Audio-Technica XLR cables. I'm using Audio-Technica and those connect the microphones to my recorder. The Tascam DR60D2 came into the picture for me about three years ago. Um, I've considered replacing it with the smaller DR40. Uh, but I prefer a lot of the tangible controls and the customizability of the DR60. One important thing about the DR60D2 is that it chews through AA batteries. There's a little slot on the back for six AA batteries. Don't waste your time with that. Buy like a, a 10,000 milliamp hour battery pack, put some Velcro on it, slap it on the back and use a USB mini B, not a micro B cable to connect the battery pack to the recorder. You can power the recorder off of the battery pack, and I've never had any power troubles. It's been absolutely amazing, and I'm, I'm still using the original battery pack. It works just fine. So don't use double A's. Spend a little bit of extra money up front to get the battery pack. I'll have a recommendation for the battery pack in the kit below. Um, SD card selection is pretty standard, eight gigabytes at minimum. I would recommend getting a 16 gigabyte card. So I could actually spend a whole video on just the recorder that I'm using. and. I might, but for now, I'm just gonna leave it at that. The rest of the kit is pretty easy. Toss in some mic stands and a basic like plastic light stand or tripod for the recorder and you're good to go. This whole kit ends up being around $400 and it's kind of shocking how well it works uh, for the essentials. And you could easily add another pair of microphones to this and throw in a mixer um, that can handle all four inputs and you can have like a four-way podcast going, that would be really cool. Um, the kit is really expandable and it's compared to a lot of audio gear out there, it's really affordable. So solid budget kit and uh, I've had a great experience with these microphones. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. That's a lot of audio. So when I say I got this guy, I really got two of them and the whole pair, both of them, ah, the whole pair, the whole pair, not just half the pair, which would be one, but the whole pair.